relationship, your career, your business, friendships, all types of things people can covet, okay, which is super, super dangerous. And just to have a point of reference, I am going to give you a textbook definition of coveting so that you get a clear picture of what it is that I'm talking about. I'm not saying you don't know what that means. But some of you may not have a real good working definition for the context of this particular broadcast. So, coveting, okay, yearn to possess or have something. Um, another definition, that definition came from, that was just something general I pulled up. But this one comes from freedictionary.com. It's free. It's up here. Um, covet, to desire wrongfully inordinately or without due regard for the rights of others to covet another's property so you talk about homes cars all those things to wish for especially eagerly it's fervently to have an inordinate or wrongful desire okay something is very odd and like the definition said inordinate about coveting Okay, so we're specifically going to address the problems with coveting in a relationship, okay? Um, it's very dangerous. And I'm going to speak to three specific points of why you do not want to go down that road of coveting anything, but more specifically, relationships, okay? Oh, before I get into that, I'd be remiss if I did not mention my beautiful date well, Mary Well Dating Journal, which is the little black book for the single marriage minded woman. Yes, 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 yes. This is a dating journal that is designed to help women specifically vet for the kind of relationship they want, the kind of man that, um, is a compliment to them and that they can be a compliment to. Okay, I totally believe in people dating well so that they can marry well because truly the two go hand in hand. Whatever you build in that dating process is what you take into the marriage, okay? So there you have it. It's available on Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com or you can cash app WOW365, W-O-W-365, your $29.95 payments 
uh, investments, I shall call it, and include your address, and I can shoot you over a signed copy, okay? All right, so that is that. Yes, date well, marry well. So let's go ahead and get into this whole thing. The dangers of coveting in a relationship. Why? What are three reasons why you really should never do that? The first reason is when you covet something of someone's, you block your authentic blessings. Blessings that were meant for you, it's like you automatically block them because you are so consumed with worrying about what someone else has that you can't even be available or receptive to blessings that are uniquely designed for you. Okay? And when that happens, it is very, very hard to penetrate your mind to understand that, hey, what this person has for them is for them. What God has for you is for you. So that's one of the reasons why um, coveting is super dangerous, okay? It is, it is definitely something that builds a wall, a thick wall between you and the blessings that were intended for you. The second thing is this. When you covet what someone else has, especially in terms of a relationship, you get a false sense of entitlement. Feeling like, oh, what they have, I deserve. Why, why don't I have what they have? You know, I deserve that man or I deserve that type of relationship or whatever it is, you know, with regards to relationships that you feel you should have that someone else doesn't have, that someone else has. When you covet, you definitely get a false sense of entitlement without any regard of what that person or those individuals had to go through in order to get the type of relationship they have. You don't know the work that was put in. You don't know the sacrifices that were made. You have no information and no regard for any of that. All you know is that you feel like you're entitled to what they have. And that is, you're coming from a wrong and disingenuous place when you feel as though what someone else has should be yours. Nothing wrong with admiring, but when you have like a contempt for someone, almost like a almost like a hate, you know, that's why they call haters. When you have that sort of that sort of posture towards someone else's blessings and you're coveting it, that's wrong. That's wrong and that's entitled. And that is building a wall between you and your blessing. The third thing is this. When you covet what someone else has in their relationship, you begin to breed bitterness in your spirit and develop a callous on your heart. I'll say that again. You begin to breed bitterness in your spirit and develop a callous on your heart. And when your spirit is bitter, you don't attract the things that you want. You don't access the love that deep down you truly deserve. You end up focusing so much on what someone else has that your whole life and your whole blessings just skate right on past you. Because you cannot see your blessing through an envious lens of what someone else is blessed with. So that bitterness builds up. That callousness in your heart, it builds up. But I want to tell you, there are things that you can do to start to remove that spirit of covetousness from who you are because i do believe that deep down all of us have something beautiful to offer the world to offer relationships something that we can really um hone in on that will allow us to access the blessings that god has for us so some of the things that you can do is you can pray about that 
And be honest, you don't have to talk to anybody but God about it. Talk to God about those things. Those things that are bothering you about why you don't have it. Talk to God and ask him, what is it that I can do as an individual to ensure that I am becoming my best self and making myself available for the blessings that you have for me? Another thing you can do is celebrate when other people win. Instead of feeling jealous about it or feeling envious towards it or wishing you had it, hoping you, you know, somehow are able to strip that away from someone and make it your own. Instead of having, you know, coming from that posture, start celebrating other people when they win. Because guess what? Everyone who is putting in the work and being genuine and authentic in who they are deserves to win, including you. And another thing is reject anybody's animosity, any negativity towards the things that you know you want and deserve. When people project negativity on you, you don't have to be receptive to it. Because a lot of times when you invite all that negativity in, that's what you project and that's what you put out. Okay? So those are the things I wanted to speak to you about, about the dangers of coveting and some of the things that you can do to remove that spirit off of you so that you can open yourself up to become available for the blessings that God has for you. Okay? This has been Sierra Advances, and I teach women how to save for the merry Bye.